Hello fellow tube surfers, this is Bubba Drew, and welcome back once again, or probably multiple times again, to my summer car. Um, it's been a while since I played this game last, um, and the reason there's such a long gap in between when I play my summer car is because I just kind of wait for things to, uh, wait for things to update and all that kind of stuff. Um, however, one of the most recent updates... Or the most recent update, I should say. I'm having a hard time talking today. Um, has had some interesting content added to it. Um, and because of that, we're starting from scratch. <laughs> yeah, I, uh, whenever there's a new update, something with the car goes wrong. And rather than, you know, say, troubleshooting it and, you know, oh, looking for the problem and doing some detective work. No, that, that, that's not me. I like to do things the hard way. Get rid of all of your progress, and then start from scratch again. And besides, I really like this game, uh, and the car building is really the big objective. And honestly, I feel like I learn things every time I do it. You know, like, okay, the engine block goes here, on the table, that is, and the pistons go in the engine block, and the yeah, just, just, I learn a lot of mechanical things, and that's actually really good for me, because that's what I want to do, I want to learn more about the mechanicals of cars and stuff. I mean, I knew quite a bit beforehand, but not as much as I would like. Um, so yeah, as you can see, we've got the engine built up again. I still have yet to, uh, let me go over here, I still have yet to get the suspension put on it. And that is because I can't put the wheels on yet, because if I put the wheels on, you can't pass inspection. So, <laughs> yeah. But uh, enough with the nonsense. I think I'm just going to get right into this video. Um, so I'll, I'll see you guys later when I pick up the footage again. Alright, so uh, let me guys get you up to, to speed on what I'm planning on for this video. So... The first and foremost thing is I'm going to go to Fateri's and get the tires uh, replaced. Um, I actually have the tires in the back of the van right now. Um, and basically what I was saying earlier was um, if you take your car to inspection with the normal wheels, um, your car will not pass inspection. Um, so I'm just going to go and do that so I can pass it first time. Because I don't like failure. What the heck? The, the rain just stopped. That was like only a minute or so of rain. It's like Michigan weather. Holy crap. I'm just going to speed right across the train tracks because... Um, now, one of the things that happens to me when I'm at the train tracks is... I stop, you know, I listen for any trains coming, and then once I think it's safe to go, it's not. And a train comes through and kills me. Just tragic timing. Uh, but anyways, um, other, other than the tires getting replaced and all that, I was also thinking about checking out some new content. Um, there's one update, and I know people have already done videos on, on these things, but I just kind of wanted to uh, get a coin. Excuse me, the fly buzzing around gets me from time to time. Well, I, m I definitely missed that corner. Anyways, um, the first thing is your grandmother is in this game now. Well, I mean, not your grandmother, your personal grandmother. I mean, the character's grandmother, of course. Oh, that'd be kind of interesting to have a relative in a game. Or it would be just downright creepy, too. I don't know. Um, but anyways, you can just go to her house and... Uh, you can just have a conversation with her, all that kind of stuff. Man, it's starting to thunderstorm out. Um, in fact, there's a new dedicated key that allows you to progress conversations. Let me press that right now, actually. Oh. Just a few of the things that you can hear, probably just barely in the background there. Uh, it's just things like, hmm, and okay. Stuff like that. Also, I just noticed my character is 
quite stressed. You can see the stress. Ah, dang it. Something's on my arm. Okay. What a time not to have a face cam up. <laughs> um, my character's getting pretty stressed out, as you can see by the, uh, uh, the stress meter. My character is soon just going to start swearing and cursing on his own without me pushing a button. He's just going to be like, I'm so angry. Why will my player not do the things I wanted to? And all that kind of stuff. <laughs> Holy crap, I got a headache from that. I strained myself a bit. Oh, there's a train going by right now. It's a good thing I didn't stop. <laughs> you know, the uh, I just thought of something. Uh, imagine if I get to Fluteri's place and he's not even open. That's one of my biggest fears whenever I go to Fluteri's. Is that he's not open when I come. My mind was going in a very bad direction there, so uh, excuse me. And we are here! The Ferndale is looking better than ever, even in the rain. Was I in fourth gear, or was I in third? I mean, the key didn't process. I don't know. But uh, anyways, as I was saying, we're here. I'm ready to get my tires in place. It's going to take a while, because apparently that's hard work. Which I can imagine it would be if you don't have the proper equipment to do a tire replacement. Okay, my stress meter is going off the chain, so we're going to have a quick smoke. Alright, now that we got that over with, the smoke that is coming out signifies that our stress is leaving our body, just like some smoky demon creature, or whatever, what have you. Anyways, let's just make sure he's open first. If he's not open, I'm going to be... Thank goodness it's open. Okay. So just get the wheels, put them in there, so Terry will do his work, hopefully. Oh, okay, well, the tires are going everywhere. Um, one thing I noticed, though, is uh, when you replace the... Hi. When you replace the standard tires with just normal tires, you can't really tell a difference. What are you talking about, your car... Or, pff, my car ruins your driveway. I, this isn't even my car. How do you know what my car even looks like? One thing I must say is, as I said, this game is really good to come back to. It's great to see that it's received so much positive feedback. Um... And I notice um, this one, uh, this one article. This guy who played the game, um, which was positive, even though it doesn't seem like it at first. Um, and the developer of the game actually um, said, uh, and I can I can quite agree with this somewhat. Um, he said that he didn't make this game because it was fun. He just said it simply needed to be made. And I can definitely agree with that, but I think it's a fun game. I think it's pretty fun to play. Alright, there's the tires. Oh, I gotta... <coughs> Excuse me, I just uh, had a giant sneeze and I just spit everywhere. Bit of a catastrophe. If it could, uh, I can't even talk now because I was so discombobulated by the sneeze. Um, so yeah, I just had to clean everything up and all that. Don't worry, everything's fine. I'm not dead or anything, so... Yeah. Oh, 40% 40, 40 discount. That's a good thing. Alright, so where's the tire replacement area? Polish. Ah, here we go. So standard, that's 1750 mark. Or we could go for Gomer Gabra, which is also street legal. But that's more expensive. But I can also tell that he actually replaced the tires. I think we're just going to have to be on the cheap side and just do the standard wheels for now. So, let's do that. You better be working when I come by your shop, because this car is important to me. I was born in this car, and I want it to be in my life for a long time. Okay, um, for those of you who don't know, that's part of the story, is that you were actually born in the car. If you want more info on that, look up the uh, intro to my summer car. It's uh, it's something. <laughs> That's all I'll say about that. <clears throat> dang it! Oh, dang it! Seatbelt. Um, one thing I want to address is uh, 
You may notice I haven't been uploading as frequently as usual, and uh, that's because I've been working on some things. <coughs> some other videos on the side that I'm putting a bit more uh, work into. I'm working on a BMNG series. Um, I noticed that um, a lot of people have been making BMNG Drive cinematics. In fact, there's a one there's one user by the name of Fritz Erls or something like that. I really don't know. And he made like some he made a really good BMNG Drive series with like some decent car action, some sounds added in, and some music. He made his own story and characters and all that kind of stuff. And I was thinking about making my own series kind of like that. I mean, not a copy, obviously, but, you know, just kind of my own thing. It's going to include some uh, car chase movie references here and there. Some of it will be my own doing. But uh, it's one of those things, I think I'm just going to make things up as I go. Rather than planning in advance like I should. But yeah, so, if you're wondering why I haven't been uploading as much, uh, there's your reason why. It's still raining. It's a rather dreary day here in Finland. Or, uh, wherever this place is called. I think it's Aleveska or something like that. Is the place. I can't remember. I always call it Periarvi, to be quite honest, because that's the town that's in the game. Alright, now we're approaching the, te the treacherous bit of the road here. He's always catching me off. Okay, no, 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 don't flip, don't flip, don't flip. Holy crap, that was a two-wheel moment right there. Yeah, this is always the treacherous bit. And of course, it's the, uh, it's a part of the route that the rally runs. Which is something that I actually have not done yet in my spare time or in a video. And with a keyboard on this game, that's going to be a challenge. But it is a challenge that I am willing to accept. Alright, I believe I'm on the right track. Um, it's interesting, because this is an area of the map that I never really explore. But the devs decided to uh, put places in here to make it explorable, so... I guess I'm not complaining. Oh, I think I found it! Just shift down a little bit. What the heck, a keyboard died! Reverse back up the hill and not into whatever all that is. Okay, the reversing seems to be ineffective. This is not... Wait a second, wait a second. Just jiggle my way out. Just jimmy jam. Jiggle my way out. Come on, just go toward the side road. There we go. Okay, another crisis uh, prevented. Oh no, this isn't even it, is it? <laughs> uh, things aren't really working out for me today. Okay, just to be clear, I know for a fact that it's at this part of the map. Um, I guess it's just a matter of finding it. Imagine if I get to the place and it too is closed because, because of the rain. I mean, there's a lot of places around here that look like it could be openings to, like, a driveway. And I don't know if I'm missing them or... what. Okay, once again, that looks like a driveway. What the heck? Okay, now we're just kind of coasting right now. I'm not really driving as fast as I usually would. And I want to conserve fuel because I notice I'm on a half a tank now. I probably should have saved when I was at Flutteri's. But oh well. I like to take risks here and there. Ooh, I think I found it. I think I found it. I think the place has been found. Yes, it has. Here we are. Ooh, and the guy's got a sob, too. Okay, we're just going to park in the middle of everything. Well, the e brake Take off the seat belt and welcome to the strawberry farm, everyone. <laughs> I gotta say, this game has so many unique um, 
things to do. It's just, I really, really like it. What's this guy doing? Holy crap, that guy's got sagging butt syndrome right here. Alright, how you doing, sir? Nice beret, I would say. That was a rhyme, holy crap. Yeah, from what I've known about this particular uh, mission or quest or whatever, um, you need a empty box. Like this one right here. So berry box. I actually don't know what you have to do from here, but I guess you just take the box, fill it with some berries, and then just pay for them or something? I don't know. Okay. And I don't really know how to do this either. Pick strawberry. Picking a strawberry. Drop strawberry. Ah, no, I don't want to do that. Oh, this is a little, little pixely thingamajig. Huh. People are saying this thing's a bit frustrating. I'm not really getting any frustrating vibes from it. But who knows, it might get frustrating. I'm just gonna try and fill it up to its max. I'll probably speed up the footage. What? This guy's trash talking me! What the heck? I'm just picking berries. I mean, it's better than no one picking berries, am I right? Mother had a fatality, would have picked four boxes in the same time you pick one. <laughs> wow. What a douche. No, I don't want to pick up the box, dang it. I haven't slept three weeks because of night frost warning. Damn strawberries going bad. Oh, wait a second. Huh. I guess this berry bush is empty. On a random note, um... I'm not too much a fan of strawberries. I, uh... I mean, I like strawberry flavored things, but... Oh, I was I had a strawberry in my hand. Dang it. Okay, once again, he's going on about the frost warnings. Can somebody educate me on uh, strawberry farming and what he's talking about? Because I don't know anything about farming. Let alone f fruit farming, for that matter. I mean, I've picked apples in an orchard before. But those are apples, they aren't strawberries. And is strawberry picking a common thing in Finland? Maybe. I don't know. Oh, come on! Shut up! I'm doing the best I can. Okay, I have no idea if it's still filling up or not. I might just be... Okay, you know what? Let's see what... Let's see if, uh... It's full compared to some of the other boxes. Okay, will you shut up so I can give you your strawberries? Oh, crap! No! Oh, thank goodness this is a video game. If I dropped these on the ground, I would never eat them. Okay, let's just put that there. Okay, what do I do? Do I just take this berry box and put it here? Ah, okay. Bring only completely full boxes. Man, this is going to take a long time. Did you see that? That was awesome! I, I don't think anyone's ever... I've, I've never seen anyone get that close to a lightning bolt in this game. Holy crap. <laughs> well then. Um, I think I'm actually going to... You know what? You asked for it. There you go. Shut you right up. Anyways, um, I think I'm going to conclude this episode here. Um, there's still some new stuff that I can check out. Um, I still got to build the car up again. Um, I'm sorry, once again, for the lack of uploads. Um, I've been working on some things, as I said. Um, but yeah, if you... Shut up! Well, I'm just gonna keep middle finger in you. That just sounds weird. Um, but anyways, if you like this video, feel free to leave a comment saying so. If you'd like to see more of My Summer Car, also leave a comment saying so. And otherwise... I'm going to finish picking strawberries, so uh, see y'all later.